What up, though? Heist man the foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man. Is Halloween overrated? Should Halloween be canceled? Is women taking over Halloween from the kids? We got to talk about it, man. Today, November 1st. This is one day after Halloween. And Halloween didn't change, man. I seen um a rapper named Lil Baby. He said that women are taking over Halloween from the kids. And I think that's true. Me and my wife, we took our kids trick-or-treating yesterday. Like every parent should do, you know. But it just ain't the same. I, I, I feel him when he was saying that they taking over Halloween. It's like they try to sexify. Is that a word? Sexify? I don't know. They try to over-sexualize Halloween now. Like, growing up, you always seen, like, they had, like, the sexy cop that was standard or a sexy nurse. But they they went too far now. They didn't start over-sexualizing all characters now. Like, Buzz Lightyear. They didn't... How you gonna make a man into a... You understand what I'm saying? You see this? Who else they did? Chucky. The Chucky doll. This ain't even Chucky. This is... I don't know, man. This is crazy. Bert from Bert and Ernie. Or is that Ernie? One of them, they don't have to do this. Spider-Man. That's a Spider-Man. That didn't took... It's like, that's what they doing now. And I, I see that, man. It's like... I went trick-or-treating. I see all these costumes. More women dressed up than the kids dressed up from what I've seen. And I was just looking like... First of all, I'm a married man, so you... Can't even look like that, you know, because everybody dressed up as something and is they over sexualizing it, you know, and it's just weird to me. That's all I'm saying. Should like should there be a limit to what they can I mean, you can't tell nobody what to dress and how to put on, but it's just weird. Halloween was on a Tuesday this year. People went out last week to celebrate Halloween, like the 27th, 28th, whatever Friday landed on this week before Halloween. They they still have to go out and put on these costumes and stuff to go out. I ain't knocking it, you know, but it's supposed to be for the kids. Kids don't even... Oh, man, it's, it's crazy, man. Like, I used to um, not go trick-or-treating and stay home and pass out candy. And one year, the last year I did it, probably like four or five years ago, I went, I stayed home and, you know, passed out candy. We only had like 10 um, trick-or-treaters. Only had like 10 trick or treaters, and only two of them had costumes on. And it was like, okay, all right, so I'm not giving out candy no more. And that was that was kind of crazy. I took my kids trick or treating yesterday, and they over it. They don't, they don't really care about it no more. They got dressed up to go trick or treating, and the area we went to to go trick or treating, let's call it like it is. We always take our kids to. The rich white people neighborhood. That's what they call it. That's why all black people call it in the ghettos. We going to the white neighborhood. They going to pass out this amount of candy. Full size candy bars, Snickers, whatever. And they go from 6 to 11. I mean, no. They go from 6 to 8. I think that's the time period they do. Where this In this area, I took my kids to. So, my kids, they, they was like, mm, whatever. Like, they didn't want to actually trick or treat. My son, he was like. I don't want to be here. I'm like, we just got here. He did not want to be there. He was like, I should have stayed home. I'm like, okay. But we only went on one street. We went to the end of the street and made our way back down. My kids, um, I was like, I was sitting there talking to my kids. Like, when y'all go up there, say trick or treat. They didn't want to say trick or treat. They just want to hand their bag out and get the candy. So I'm like, say trick or treat, say trick or treat, like trick or treat. It's happy, it's fun. You getting candy? They like, man, I got more candy at home. It was like, okay, but it's the point of trick or treating is to say trick or treat, get some candy, and say thank you. My kids was like, I had to tell them every time before they went to the door, say trick or treat, say trick or treat. Knock on the door. They was not feeling. They was like, oh, okay, whatever. And this is my experience with trick or treating. It was like. I don't know. Should we, should we take our kids trick or treat anymore? They didn't want. They feel like they got more candy at home, and 
They didn't want to walk. They lazy. They don't want to. They didn't. They don't want to walk. They, like back in my day, we used to get out, take off, go everywhere. Uh, how much candy we can get? They didn't fill up no bags of candy. They they, they was not filling it. Um. Another thing I was thinking about to the neighborhood we went to to go trick or treat. The um quote unquote rich white neighborhood. That's a lot of pressure for them. Because they know don't none of these people live in the area and they sitting there passing out candy to all these people. And I was looking at it like as as not as not a consumer, but as a person that you know, they would give out candy. I'm looking like, Man, I feel bad for these people, man. That they, they have to give out candy. Not that they have to, but it's an it's an expectation for these people to come out to their to their area where they live at. And they decorate their houses and all this stuff and they pass out all this candy. So they got to foot the bill for that. And like I said, there's enormous amounts of people coming out there to give out candy. I mean, it's coming out there to receive candy from these people. And it's like, it's, it's putting all on them. So as we walking and doing that stuff, my son, he want to smack tree. I'm like, don't, don't smack the trees, man. These people live out here. We're not going to tear up their land, their area. I don't know, man. It just, it is a whole weird situation for me with Halloween yesterday. Just being there and seeing no, none of my kids wanted to trick or treat. A few of them, were the littlest one she wanted to, um, you know, they got candy, but they lazy. They didn't want, they didn't really want to, <laughs> they, they went to probably 15 houses and they could have went to 75. And after eight houses, they was like, I got enough. I'm, I'm all right. Because they have candy at home. And that's all I can think about is, so they don't want to trick or treat. It's over-sexualized by all these women wearing all these just ass out everywhere of costumes. And they just taking random characters and turning them into just... It's like wow. It's like it's no monsters no more. It's no, everybody has to be sexualized. It's crazy. Uh, I don't know what to do, man. Y'all tell me how do y'all feel about this? Do you, it, it, like, come on, man. What is? Let me see this again. Bert. Like, come on, man. Ooh, Spider Man. Chucky. Buzz Lightyear. What's the what's the um the, the woman name? Scooby Doo. Velma. If you look at Scooby Doo back in the days, it's Daphne and Velma. Daphne, the one just, you know, kind of cute, all that. You know, and Velma, she had on the big sweater glasses. Nobody liked her. But everybody is turning themselves into a sexy Velma now. They're just going to, y'all taking Halloween from kids, man. That's that's all I can think about. It's like they is really spoiling it for kids. But we definitely going to be talking about this Friday right here on this channel because I go live every Friday talking about stuff just like this. And I have like, 50 Velmas that I want to show y'all Friday. Some good, some bad, but it just, it just, I don't know, man. I'm, 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 I'm growing up, I believe, I guess. It ain't like I'm hanging out, me and my wife, or me and the homies going out and we seeing all the, it's like I'm with my kids and I got to subject my kids to this stuff, man. So, like I said, man, we definitely going to be talking about this Friday right here on this channel, man. Come through and highlight me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Happy Halloween. Um, there was yesterday, Thanksgiving coming up. You're going to see sexy turkeys now. It's like, just y'all taking Halloween from the kids, man. Anyway, I'll let your boy, Heist Man the Foe, talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think, wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.